Building with Papa. Okay, I'm going to kerf some plywood for this arch. We're going to be putting in some doors in these archways, but I just wanted to show you how to kerf some plywood to make that radius so that I'll have something to attach the drywall to. All right, I'm using this plywood as a template to get the radius marked out so that I can cut the plywood and make it um, form to this arch. So what I've decided to do is to take this plywood all the way up to the soffit and attach it to the wall and then I'm going to mark it out. That'll give me the exact arch of how I'm going to make this plywood work for this arch to be able to have something to screw the drywall to. All right, well, there's three of them. I'm just showing you door number one. And this way you can see exactly what it takes to make your plywood bend to a radius. Okay, well, I'm tacking it off and then I'm going to mark it. I thought this was going to be the easiest way. I had extra plywood laying around, so it's no big deal. All right. Well, once you have the plywood in place, take your pencil. I draw the vertical part and the radius. This way I know exactly where it ends when I'm building the and kerfing the plywood to go inside this arch. All right. Well, let's take it down, take it home, and get started. Okay, this is the template of the one door for the arch. Now what we're going to do is find center. I marked center so I would know exactly where it would be. It's not that critical. As long as you take the measurement and you know how much wood you need to get around that arch. But I like to mark center and then I can measure it and get exactly what I need to be able to cut that plywood. This measurement happens to be uh, 44 inches. Even. So the length of my plywood will be 44 inches. And the width is about seven and five eighths of an inch. So I'm gonna use this bore tool to cut it. Okay. Okay, this is the length. this is by Bora. It's a guide for when you're cutting plywood, of which this one, the one piece here is big enough to do for a 48 inch piece. Then if you're trying to do a uh, full sheet of plywood and cutting it long ways, it has this extension piece on it that makes it for 100 inches. See, it has like a T-track in here. And it has some the screw holes here. So what you would do is you would remove these screws, then put it together. and then screw it back together. I'm not gonna use that today. I'm only doing a, cutting a 44 inch piece of plywood and then I'm gonna rip it seven and a half inches, okay? So I'm not gonna need this piece, but if I was using a full sheet of plywood, 40, <coughs> um, full sheet of plywood, 96 inches, they make it 100 inches so you're able to clamp it down. Okay, so this is is able to uh, go onto the edge of the plywood, and then this piece here, you pull this down, you know, bring your clamp down, pull this down. You can slide it and get it to whatever size of plywood that you're trying to cut. All right. Being it's now it's only a guide, you have to decide how you're running your saw so that you can find your distance from here to the edge of this blade, okay? Mine happens to be five inches.
So, what I did is I marked my plywood with an arrow. This is my cut line when I'm going to cut for the seven and a half inches, but this is my arrow is where the guide is going to go on. So I have that over here and I'm going to set this up right now. So I can cut this at 44 inches and not have to use the extension because this piece is what I need, 44 inches. So pull this down, put it to the edge of the plywood, get it on your mark at the top. You have both marks lined up, slide it forward, okay, double check it before you tighten it, and then move it forward. Okay, now, that's on there, nice and secure, it's not going anywhere. Now get your saw. This is the line that I want to cut. It's five inches over. I've set up my blade so that it'll cut and just barely cut away the line. Okay, double check. Put it right up against there. already put my marks on here. Flip it over. Bring this down. Hook this end, that end, on the edge of the plywood. I got my mark there. Got my mark here. Double check. I'm on, I'm on. And now push. It's tied up against the plywood. Now lock it in place. Once it's locked in place, it's not gonna move. You're ready to cut. I don't have to mark the line all the way down. I had marked it, marked it where I was gonna cut, then went five inches over. Let's cut it. There's my piece that I was looking for. All right, now I've got what I'm looking for. Okay, I've set up my saw. I got this block because when you're using a chop saw, it's not gonna go all the way at the very end back here. So I put a block here of where I'm cutting and then I'll, I'll put it here. I have to make each cut so it goes all the way through. I've got this uh, stopped. So that, I don't know if you can see it, but it doesn't cut all the way through. I have the block, the stop block. I chose a chop saw because it's what I have available. And it's quick and easy to make these cuts with it. I put a mark on the back um, board. Okay, I put a little block here to hold it up so that I can move it. And then also I put a mark here so as I move it, I move it right to that mark. Then it's right there on that mark. Putting the mark on the uh, stop board really helps make it quick and easy. Uh, got a lot of cutting to do. Let me get it done. Here I can show you a little bit more clearly what I'm doing. You decide how wide you want to make the cuts. So this way you're just moving it each time and it makes the perfect distance every time you make the cut. All right, let's get this done. All right, well, that's the first one. I only got two more to go. <laughs> Holy moly, Batman. That's a lot of cuts. Okay, gotta keep going. Okay, that's board number two. Now the first one I cut, I marked it at half inch. So it's just under a half inch each one. But this time, the reason why is that arch is 30 inches wide. This arch is 40 inches wide. So what I did is I made a mark 
a full three quarters of an inch. So each one of these are three quarters of an inch with the cut. So it's still going to bend to what I need. And we'll be doing that in a minute after I cut the third board. Oh my goodness, this is a lot of cuts. All right, well, that's just the way it is. Oh man, okay, that's all three cut now. All right, now I'll get ready to make the arch, glue it up, and this way I can go and install them. All right, let's get going. Now what I did is I just used some trim screws, put them in on the line all the way around. I added one here to hold the bottom and I'll have to add one over here once I get this all bent in. All right, now I'm gonna have to glue this and then we'll try and shape it. All right, now we're gonna glue it up. Just like everything else, all this stuff's gonna be in the description and more in case there's anything you'd like to purchase. I'm running the glue in the joints that I've cut. It's just going to make them a little bit stronger when I go to put this in the archway. I have it all glued up now. Now we're going to bend it. I use the trim screws because it's what I had available. You can cut little blocks and nail them onto the plywood, whatever works for you. This was convenient, quick and easy, and I'm able to reuse the screws later on. All right, now work your way from one end and start to push them closer to the screws or your blocks, whatever you've decided to use. Okay, and then once you get them all together, where you feel that the arches or radius is where you want it, then let it dry overnight. And it's still gonna be flexible, but this way I won't have any issues installing it in the archway. I just happen to have this plywood extra that I've kept stored and this way I'm able to use it for templates and whatever else I need. All right, let's finish this thing up. All right, now I'm gonna let that dry. See how it comes out. All right, now I've already cut for the arch. So now I'm gonna mark where I'm putting it. Double check myself. Okay, now I'm gonna install the plywood in the arch. I've marked it a uh, half inch in because that's what the drywall I'm gonna use. And as you can see, this has stayed somewhat to the correct size. Let's get one in the middle first. Now screw it in place. This one here, I know there's something right there in the center. Now we'll get them all screwed off. I'm just double checking it right now to make sure I'm keeping the same distance because the arch itself is not squared. This one's not bad, but one of the others gave me a tough time. And you just keep double checking it and making sure you are the same distance away from the edge all the way around okay now once we have this screwed off make sure you screw it off good this is going to be where your drywall is going to attach to I'm going to frame out the openings later that'll be in another video and then we'll do the drywall and then the doors but when you kerf plywood you're trying to make a radius Okay, now you can see the plywood 
is up there. Okay, we have the first one in. Now I got two more to do. Okay. Now I've got all three of them in. Okay. Now I got to frame it out for the doors. Okay.